Okay. Um, so, I've been working in the fast food industry for about four months now. And honestly, man, just... It's just some stuff that be happening that you, you just can't make up. So you already know I got a couple stories for y'all today. I just, uh, nothing too crazy I'm just going to talk about. Just the stuff that I've been dealing with so far and how the job is in general. I got some, I just got some crazy stories today. But before I get into those, I just want to make a couple announcements. So if you hear crickets in the background, I'm sorry. Um, there's crickets in my gecko tank and they don't know how to shut up. So if you hear it, that's my bad. I'm gonna try to edit it out so y'all don't hear it yet. But you know, if you hear it, that's my bad. Um, also, I know I haven't been here for a while. It's because I just been busy. You know, I told y'all that in the last story time video, I just been busy. Also, um, I got new editing software, so I'm pretty sure you saw if you've seen the Borderlands video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But I got new editing software. So, um, I've, been, I've been playing around with that a little bit, and it's, I don't know, the video's been looking pretty good. I hope you guys like it. But as far as my job myself, I don't really have anything, like, bad to say about my job, really. Like, I don't know, they work around my schedule. The pay isn't that great, but I mean, I feel like that's what every job, that's, that's how most people feel, that their pay isn't that great. But, I mean, they work around my schedule. The place is clean. Honestly, the job's pretty easy. The worst thing really is if the peep, like the customers are like really mean, honestly, and that's like the worst thing that I deal with if like the customers are crazy, but it's just like, I don't know. I kind of, I try to like avoid the morning shift just because like there's always something crazy that goes down during my morning shift, bro. Like lately it hasn't been happening like that, but like at the beginning, bro, like I don't know, I've just been dealing with like the craziest shit, bro. So look, this happened like what, two weeks ago now? I think like two weeks ago. And so, you know, it's a regular morning shift, you know? It's a weekend, I'm just chilling. It's almost three o'clock. I'm almost out of there, bro. I'm getting ready to go home and everything. It was a normal day up until this point. So this guy comes up and he's all like, hey, uh, can I get some more special sauce? And so, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm all like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta charge you extra for special sauce. And he was like, why? And I was like, because we charge extra for the extra special sauce. Like if you want extra sauce, then I gotta charge you. He was like, but why though? I was like, cause sauce costs money, man. Like, I, like I don't know what else to tell you. And he was like, come on, bro. There's no way you could give me the sauce. And I'm like, no. And he's all like, come on, man. Nothing you could do at all. I'm like, no, bro. He was like, why can't you just slide me the sauce? And I'm like, because we get in trouble for that. And he was like, nobody's gonna know though. And I'm like, there's literally a camera right above my head, my guy. Like, I don't, like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. And he's like, can't we do, like, a fake transaction or something, bro? And I'm like, no, the sauce is 60 cents. If you don't have 60 cents, then I can't give you the sauce, bro. And he's like, so there's nothing you could do. And I'm like, no. And he's all like, well, uh, just, you know, watch your back. You know, I hope nothing bad happens to you. And I'm like, what, dude? <laughs> and he's like, you know, just I hope nothing bad happens to you when you get off work, you know? And I was like, what the fuck, bro? Okay, I guess. Like, whatever. And so, I don't know. I ended up Ubering at home. Like, my job is really close to my house, so nine, nine times out of ten, like, I'll walk home unless I'm, like, really tired. But uh, I had to Uber home that day just in case, you know, he's ready to, like, shoot me up or whatever when i left for some sauce like i don't know y'all y'all might be thinking this a joke but some dude just got stabbed over the popeye's chicken sandwich so you know i ain't trying to take no chances you feel me and so that was that was the first day and then so the second day comes where i'm working the morning shift because I, I, I had to work the morning shift on friday and saturday and sunday so that happened friday and now on um Saturday, I go and you know, like I said, it was pretty normal until about like 11 o'clock. You know, not 11. It was like it was like noon. Yeah, it was like noon, bro. And so you know, I'm chilling there. The restaurant's mostly there's no one in the restaurant, so I'm just you know sitting there chilling, restocking, waiting for someone to come in. And so this lady comes in. So you know, I'm all like, hey, what's up? You know, what's going on? And so she walks up and she like starts trying to order something. And, like, I couldn't understand her because, like, 
she kept slurring her words and everything, bro, and she kept, like, swaying, like, she kept swaying back and forth, like, y'all know how Michael Jackson do that lean, like, he'll, like, lean, like, he used to lean all the way forward, and then he'll come back, like, she kept doing that, like, she did that, like, three times, and I was getting kind of scared, because I'm like, bro, is she about to, like, fall and pass out on me or something in the store, like, I, I don't know what to do, but, like, so she tries to order something or whatever, and I tell her, like, I was like, oh, this is gonna be 11.27, and so she's all like, oh, okay, and then she was like, can I use the bathroom really quick? And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. And so, like, I went to the back. And I always started, you know, just doing whatever I was doing, you know, uh, prepping stuff for uh, the people who work the closing shift because the closing shift is a lot more busy. The morning shift is just a bunch of prepping. And so um, I kept walking back out, and I didn't see her anywhere or nothing like that. So I was just like, oh, okay, I guess she left. So I deleted her order and just went back to do what I was doing, you know? And so, like, we have this chart to where, like, we have to check the bathroom every hour uh, to make sure that the bathrooms are clean and that, like, the paper towels are stocked and all that stuff. So I go into the back bathroom, bro, and she is in the middle of the floor, passed out, bro. She's just knocked out in the middle of the floor, bro. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, hey, like, excuse me, like, you, you gotta get up. And she's like, huh? I'm like, yeah, like, you can't be, you know, sitting here sleeping in the middle of the bathroom floor like i can't like we can't have that and she was like okay whatever and so she gets up and like she goes back to the front tries to order again and so you know i'll go back and i get my boss and i'm like hey man like this lady i don't know if she i don't know what she on or whatever but like can you talk to her like i don't know what to do about her and so my boss was like what am i gonna do i was like i don't know can you do her because i don't want to deal with her and so my boss goes out there she's like hello you know and so, I don't know, my boss is, like, really sweet or whatever. And so, uh, you know, she takes the lady's order or whatever. And then, my, you know, my boss says the same thing. My boss is all like, oh, so that's going to be 1127. And the lady's, like, she gives... The, she, the lady gives my boss like four dollars and some change, bro. And so the boss is like, yeah, that's only four dollars. I don't really... I don't really know what to do. And so um, the ladies are like, oh, well, you can't just slide me the food. And then my boss is like, well, you don't even have half of what you need. So I don't know. I know I can't give you the food. And so um, then, like, she starts getting mad or whatever, bro. Like, she starts getting mad. But then she was like, oh, well, uh, I was outside and, you know, I got robbed. And so now I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, how you get robbed, but you in here trying to order food? Like, what, what do you do with ordering food after getting robbed? Like, that don't make no sense. And, but, you know, my boss is like, uh-huh, yeah. So, like, do you, if you don't have enough money, I can't give you the food. And so then the lady started getting mad. She's like, oh, man, fuck y'all. da 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 start cursing and screaming. I was happy that there was no one else in the dining room or whatever. But she was sitting there cursing and screaming. I was like, fuck y'all, da 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 And so my boss was like, hey, you know, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. And so, you know, the lady leaves or whatever. She tries to, like, kick the door open and break the glass or whatever. And then she leaves, bro. But that's not the end of it. That's not even the end of it, man. So for the next 20 minutes, I cannot make this up, bro. I cannot. Like, you, you cannot make this up, okay? For the next 20 minutes, bro. 20 minutes. 20 fucking minutes. She keeps walking back and forth in front of the restaurant. And so, like, the restaurant is, like, the front is mostly glass. Like, mostly glass windows. So you can see everything that goes on in the front of the restaurant. And so, for the next 20 minutes, bro, she just walked by with her middle finger at us. And then, like, she'd be gone for, like, a minute. And then she'd walk back the other way with her middle finger at us, bro. For, like, the next 20 minutes, bro, she kept doing drive-by middle fingers at us. Like, I don't It was, like, the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And so I go back and I tell my boss. And I'm like, hey, so, like, there is this lady back here that just keeps doing, like, drive-by middle fingers, bro. And you just sit there just laughing at her, bro. It was freaking hilarious. And so that's what happened on Saturday. So now we roll over to Sunday. So, you know normal day for the most part and then it's like like what like two o'clock in the afternoon bro it was like one or two two in the afternoon one or two and so this lady walks up and she's like hey um can i get some extra special sauce and i was like well i have to charge you extra for the extra special sauce and she was like oh okay and she walks off and so, you know, I'm just sitting there waiting for her. I'm thinking she's about to get her money or whatever. So I'm just sitting there chilling, you know, waiting. And so she comes back. And she's like, can I please get some extra special sauce? And I was like, I just told you that I have to charge you extra. 
like if you don't have you know 60 it's 60 cents for a small 110 for a big one and if you don't have the money then i can't give you the extra special sauce and she was like oh okay and then you know she went she went back to her table or whatever and then i'm talking like I don't, i'm just sitting there waiting bro i'm just chilling and literally out of nowhere just from out of nowhere bro her boyfriend or whoever her baby daddy i don't know bro but from out of nowhere he's just like i'm talking okay look the dining room is full right now like this is during this is during the time we were busy so there was like other families other people chilling in the dining room eating people waiting for their food and stuff like that and so out of nowhere bro her baby daddy or her boyfriend or whatever just screams why the fuck can't she get some extra special sauce and i was like oh <laughs> i was like because i have to charge extra for that and i'm talking he's screaming at me from across the dining room bro he's like i just sat here to spend ten dollars on this fucking chicken with no fucking sauce on it and you telling me she can't get no fucking extra special sauce and i was like sir i don't know what to tell you bro like i gotta i gotta charge you extra for the extra special sauce he's like no i ain't sitting there paying no extra for no fucking special sauce so you better give her the fucking special sauce or i swear to fucking god and i was like you know what i don't think i could serve you properly let me let me go get someone that could serve you you know better and so i go back there and i get my boss and i'm like so like this man is being mad disrespectful outside and if he keeps talking the way he's talking, I'm not I'm not gonna have anything nice to say back to him. So I think you should handle this because I don't think I'm properly fit to handle this. And so she's like, alright, and she goes out there or whatever, and she's like, you know, what's the problem? And he's like, He's telling me that I gotta charge extra for a special sauce. And my was like, Yeah, you do. It's 60 cents for a small, 110 for a big one. And he's like, Oh no, he's like, fuck that. I want the sauce right now. You guys sitting here spending all this money on these on this chicken with no fucking sauce on it. I want my fucking sauce right now. And it just kept going back and forth, bro. She was just like, you know what? She was like, I can give you the special sauce this time, but next time you're gonna have to pay. He was like, Don't worry about it. There ain't gonna be no next time. And so like, you know, he just took his stuff and he left. <laughs> but I mean, that's not like it's not every single morning shift that you know something's crazy but it's just like i don't know there's always something crazy happening in my job the night shift has its like own little moments too but i don't know the night shift is nothing as crazy as the morning shift is so like i don't know so there was one time i was working the night shift right and so this lady comes in with her husband and you know the lady comes in or whatever and she's all like yeah so can i get four breadsticks and i was like okay so four breadsticks do you want anything else and she was like i don't i don't want any breadsticks i was like oh okay and then, you know i'm just sitting there thinking like okay maybe i'm hearing stuff she's like yeah okay so um can i get four breadsticks and i was like oh okay so four breadsticks and she was like i don't want any breadsticks and i was like oh okay and now you know i'm sitting here like questioning myself i was like what am i hearing bro did she i was like i know i can't be imagining this i was like whatever okay so i delete the breadsticks again and then you know she's like okay so um can i get four breadsticks and i was like okay four breadsticks and she was like what are you talking about? I didn't say anything about breadsticks. I was sitting there like, okay, I know I didn't just imagine her say breadsticks, but I was like, all right, my bad. I'm sorry, miss. And so she was like, can I get four breadsticks? And you no, know, this time I just ignored the breadsticks, bro. I didn't say anything about breadsticks, but I put the breadsticks on her because I know I heard her this time. And so then I took the rest of her order or whatever. And then after I took her order, um, she looks at like her husband or like, I don't know who this dude was next to her, but she looks at him and she says this right in front of me, bro. She looks at him and she goes, you might want to talk a little slow for him. She was like, you might want you. She's like, she, she said exactly this. She was like, don't talk too fast to this one. He's a little bit slow. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, how are you going? Like, I'm, bro, people are just disrespectful. And now I wanted to say something, bro, but I was just like, it's all right, bro. I wanted to sit there and roast on them, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to say nothing. So I just took their order and, you know, I let them go, you know, go about their way or whatever. My night shift isn't really crazy. It's just like, I don't know. During the nighttime, a lot of people just be like petty, you know, not really like... Just, yeah, they just be like petty more than anything. So like there was this, okay, there's this one time where this lady from Uber comes in, and so you know she says Uber for this person. So I'm like, oh okay. So I go to the back and I'm like, I tell the cook, I'm like, okay, Uber for this person. 
and you know they they put the they start to put the order together or whatever and so i go back in the front and she's like well how long is it gonna take and i was like we should have that in about five minutes for you and she was like oh okay and so um little did i know she freaking starts a timer and so like i'm oh she's over here timing me i didn't even know she was timing me but she's over here timing me and we were like really busy during this time so i was always paying attention to her i'm sitting here you know helping out other customers deal with other people and stuff and so um then out of nowhere like apparently five minutes later because she had a timer so five minutes later she's like it's been five minutes where my food at and I'm just like, Ooh, okay, let me let me see how long this is going to be. And so I go to the back or whatever. I'm like, yeah, so this lady's screaming at me saying that she wants her food, like, that she wants the food now. Can you just, like, hurry up and make it? And so um, she was like, okay, cool. And then, like, the cook gave me other orders. And I'm just sitting there like, nah, I don't want to I don't want to walk back outside without without her order because I, I ain't even trying to deal with it. And so, you know, she gives me the lady's order or whatever. So I go out there and you know i bag it up for whatever and i give it to her and she's like that took seven minutes and 30 seconds oh so sick and tired of coming here and so it's just funny because like the uber people that come in like they'll get so mad at us but like you don't have to take the order so like you'll sit there like they'll sit there and they'll complain to us about how long we take but it's just like you know if you don't like us then don't take the orders here man like i don't, I don't know but it's just like i don't know i just thought it was funny for her specifically just because like all you're doing is delivering like fries to people bro you're delivering fries and chicken to people bro like i don't like your time is not that precious like i'm sorry like it's just not <laughs> okay um let me see what other crazy stories do i have for the night time like the night time is pretty chill for the most part i don't really get anybody crazy like that it's more than morning time there's like a lot of nice people that um work that are customers and that work the uber thing like i remember just one dude he had to wait like 30 minutes because we messed up on the order that he was supposed to take and he was just chill he was just chilling looking on his phone or whatever so i don't know most of the customers are pretty normal pretty nice but sometimes like you'll just get like the out of the blue people that just like i don't know like there was oh wait i remember just one guy bro where freaking so I, I don't know what's wrong with our like receipt printer thing but so um when i put in when i put in an order like uh the receipt a receipt will be printed for the customer and then there's a separate receipt that gets sent to the cook in the back and so for some reason like i don't know like the receipt on the front is like really weird and like it'll print like extra food items and stuff like that and i don't know why but sometimes the stuff on the receipt will be the receipt for the customer will be completely different than what the cook gets and so um you know this guy orders like some this guy orders some chicken or whatever and so um you know he comes back so after he orders it you know i'm just doing my job or whatever and so then the guy comes back and he's all like hey so like my order's wrong and i was like oh what, what do you mean and he, so he shows me the receipt and i'm telling you bro this dude sat here he done did the math on the receipt and everything bro and he was like, so, you know, you charge me for a uh, eight piece when I only ordered a five piece. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, we didn't. I was like, I put in the five piece. It's just the receipt printed differently. Like I'm, I'm saying it. he was like, no, 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 no. He's like, look what it says right here. It say right here that I got an eight piece when I only ordered a five piece and you charge me an extra dollar ninety two. So I'm going to need my extra dollar ninety two back. And I'm just like, sir, we I'm like, sir, we're not we're not overcharging you i promise it's just the, the printer is weird and he was like no 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 i hear what you're saying i hear what you're saying but i'm gonna need my 192 back and so i'm sitting there like okay look come here so i like i like bring him over to the register and i'm like okay so you ordered this 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 and you like you ordered all of this and the price is still exactly the same and like i showed him and he was like yeah i see i see what you're saying but I'm gonna need my 192 back and so I was like you know what so I'll go back and I get my boss and I'm like yeah so we got a bargainer and she was like what the hell is a bargainer I was like you never run into those people that like for whatever reason no matter what you tell them they over here like looking at the receipt doing mass trying to save their money <laughs> and she was like no I was like well this is like the third one I've dealt with so far and so my boss goes out there and talks to him whatever and so like the 192 or whatever was because he got a combo and so we charge like an extra like 192 for like a combo and the combo includes like breadsticks 
He ended up like saying, oh, I don't want the combo anymore. We gave him his 192 back and he couldn't get breadsticks. So like, I don't know. It's just, it's not all bad, but it's just like, I've already dealt with a lot of crazy stories so far. And it's just like, the job itself is pretty easy. The hardest part really is like, if I'm by myself and like, we're like super busy. But other than that, I feel like the hardest part really is like the, um, like the customers like if you deal with like really mean customers and really rude customers all the time then it's just like it makes the job so much more like hard because i don't know like basically the moral of the story is be nice to people in the freaking food industry man because like i don't know you don't really like know what they deal with until like you like you work that job yourself like at first you know i remember when i was younger or whatever i just like, oh you know it's whatever all y'all do is you know making food back there like can't be that hard but i don't know like it, it isn't really that hard it's just like if if you have nice people that are willing to cooperate with you and stuff like that cut like for the customers if you have like nice customers that are willing to cooperate and understand that you get busy sometimes or they understand that you know you make mistakes sometimes if you get like those nice customers and the job is a breeze but a lot of times the job is really hard just because like i don't know people can be difficult sometimes and like i don't know some people just walk in i feel like some people walk in trying to be difficult like i don't know but those are all those are all the stories that I've dealt with so far and I'm only you know only been working there for four months so I don't know maybe later on I can give you guys an update video if anything else crazy ends up happening you know but um until then guys um you know I'll see you next time like comment subscribe all that good stuff and you know I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much as I want to but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to post more I know it's been it's been a minute you know it's been there be, there be long gaps in between videos also wait I forgot so also um I've been trying to down uh, so I finished Detroit Become Human like I've been finished that like a long time ago and for some reason like YouTube isn't letting me upload the video like I don't know what's wrong with it or whatever but it's been finished for like the longest time and for some reason YouTube isn't letting me upload it so I don't know I gotta figure out how to upload that and upload the final episode like, I don't know it's, been, it's just been acting weird but mm, I think that's all this everything so yeah guys if you like it like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys next time Peace.